and welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I have something big for you guys. The reason I haven't done a 2017 wig collection review is because I've been trying to get a new wig in here before I do that whole like summary of my collection wigs and I finally got the wig. It finally came in and guess what you guys? This is not synthetic hair. This is actually 100% human hair. Like, oh my god, this is the first time I actually spent this much money on a wig. Um, I think I spent like around like 2 30, 31 and something cents. It was actually actually on Amazon. There was no reviews on this wig. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna fucking go ham and just like go ahead and buy that wig. And yeah, so I ended up buying this wig and it's my first wig that I have that is 100% human hair. Most of my wigs are synthetic. This one right here that I have is synthetic. It does not give a lot of shine. Oh my god, thank god. Oh yeah, and if you guys want to see the tutorial or I mean the wig review on this one um go ahead and i'll put the link down below for this one as well but this this review is not for this wig this review is for the 100 percent human hair wig that i got i'm just so excited for you guys and i haven't done a wig review in so freaking long and i was like i have to fucking do this for you guys so i got this wig in here the like my plans for this wig is to dye it pink dye it purple dye it blue and this wig is dyeable um because the part that i was kind of iffy on before buying this wig is that it said 100 percent Remy Brazilian hair and I'm kind of iffy on the word Remy because um this one time I bought Remy extensions and I wanted to dye them from blonde to black and they did not dye all the way there was like blonde streaks I guess because it was a a blend you know what I mean like a human hair blend so maybe um and usually when there's a human hair blend there's real hair and fake hair combined so I was kind of iffy and it said Remy so I was like it just really fucked my mind up about like the word Remy and so, but yeah, this wig, it did say under the descriptions that it is dyeable. I just want to have a wig that I can, like, dye forever, you know? Because I have, like, five wigs, all different colors. And, you know, why not buy one that I can dye whatever color I want? And I won't have to, like, struggle with the shininess or anything. So this wig did cost me a lot more money than my usual wig prices. Usually, like, I buy wigs that are, like, 50 and below. Um, I did get this on Amazon because, you know, Amazon, like, you know, there's Prime. You could get it delivered so much faster than these other wig companies. And I would just, like, I really wanted to do this video and take it out this week because I did say I was going to do a weekly video. You, uh, I just have to keep you guys up to date with my stuff and I haven't been doing that. I do, Anyways, just keep on watching. So this is the company that I got my wig from. Honestly, I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Can you guys not? Oh, my God. I, can't, I, can't, I just can't. So... I did open it. I'm sorry, you guys. I was just really happy, you know, like, this is my first ever 100% human hair wig. So, this is it. It comes in a little box. This little box right here, like a shoe box. And, you know, you open it. And here's the wig. It's in a little baggie. So, here's the wig. It comes with a little cute note inside. I'll read this separately because I'm pretty sure I don't want to bore you guys. But here's a letter. So cute. I love when they do that. Okay, so it comes with the wig cap. Obviously, I'm not going to be using this wig cap. I actually bought this really nice wig cap that i fucking love right now i mean this is my first time wearing the wig cap so it is full lace 18 inches long it's number 613 and it's straight 150 percent density i was kind of expecting it to be a lot thicker but i mean whatevs i guess i was gonna I, I thought it was gonna be a lot thicker but you know this is pretty decent like this is actually really fucking nice Oh my god, I wish I could get... Let me just back the camera up a little bit. So, um, this is the wig. It is... Oh, can I stand up? It's, like, longer than this wig, actually. I mean, <laughs> it's because I did cut this wig. Okay, so this wig is... Oh my god, like, honestly... It's just so soft. It's, like, really, really fucking soft. It looks so fucking natural, obviously. It's human hair. Wow, it is. it does have, like, a little yellow tone. But I mean, I could tone that out like with like purple shampoo or something and give it that little silvery effect. Take out all the brassiness out. It, I mean, I think it's all right. I think I could wear it like this. I'm going to go ahead and try it on and show you guys. This is a full lace wig. Like, oh my God, this is all like usually all my wigs are like front lace or silk based wigs. And this one is full lace, so this is going to be really, really interesting. I've never had a full lace wig. Oh, yes. I'm, oh, my God. I was so anxious. I was like, hopefully these, these, this wig has, like, um, back clips. And yes, it does. These little clippy thingies to adjust the, the thingy on my head. Like, if it's too loose or something. 
and it does have a back clip side clip other side clip right here and has a front clip as well i don't really see the purpose of the side clips but i mean i guess at least it came with it right so that's how it looks this is a full lace like as you guys can see now let's go to the front do a 360 right here and it does have like obviously because it's um full lace it has like the little lace in back here too um go ahead and cut the whole lace everywhere and what i did like is that it does have it does come with baby ears like thank god i don't have to fucking do them it's i fucking hate doing them and it's like pretty decent like the front i fucking like it like look at that yeah i didn't glue this like this wig on because you know i i'm gonna take it off to put this one on but um as you guys can see like it does come really thick i got some makeup on there um it does come really thick compared to like this this one has like a little front pre-plucked already. I fucking like that. I'm liking this company so far. But yeah, it has like that really natural, natural front. Ooh. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on. By the way, this is the, the bamboo uh, wig cap. I freaking love it. It's really soft. Like it, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of like my scalp in a way and i like that like it's just really soft and i feel like it's really gentle on my hair okay so before we cut we're gonna actually put these little baby hairs behind because we don't want to cut those they're too cute to be cut there we go you see you see that you see that i did get these clips at forever 21 they're really cheap i think they were less than five bucks i think i got like six or five so basically like a dollar each one so yeah, they were pretty cheap and I use them all the time for straightening my hair and stuff like that. So, okay, now let's just get straight to cutting. Now that all the baby hairs are back, because we don't want to cut those. It's okay if you could, like cut some hairs. Like obviously it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be a perfect cut. But if you can, just try to avoid it, I guess. But get as close as possible. It doesn't matter if you cut some. Basically just cutting really, really close to the little, where the little hairline starts. Kind of tracing those little hairs out. The little clips did help me a lot cutting this lace. So that's it, you guys. You could kind of see my wig cap right there. I just need to push this little, the head, the little um, part of the wig a little bit more back. Because obviously my, my hairline, there we go. The hairline's not all the way in front. Okay. So we want that to be right there. First, let me just brush it out. So there's not a lot of shedding on that side. For like two, three hairs, the hairs probably the ones that are cut. I have no problem going through with it with my hands. I'm gonna probably put a hat on and just like put these ones down because I do like splitting my hair down the middle. But if anything, I just keep it like this because you could probably see my wig cap. So that is the wig review for you guys. What do you guys think? I feel like it's a little too like yellowy for my skin tone. It doesn't look that yellow on camera, but in person, it kind of does look yellow. On camera, it looks fine though. Like. Hmm, I don't know, but I actually really fucking like it. I mean, this is my first 100% human hair wig, so it's probably really biased of me to say because, you know, I'm really excited for this wig. Um, but I like it, to be honest. It, ha it has, like, the natural lengths as well. It's layered. Look, let me show you guys. This is 18 inches. I thought it was going to be a lot longer, but I guess, sadly, it was not. I was expecting, like, it to be up to my butt. I mean, it low-key kind of is. So well, that's how far it goes down. My butt's like, my butt's almost there. Like my leggings are right there. It's almost to my butt. So I am like 4'10". So obviously it like, um, it would be a lot shorter on a taller person. But yeah, this is how the wig looks, you guys. It's really fucking soft. I love it. You need to pull this down a bit. But um, oh yeah, it does have baby hairs in the back as well. I just need to like fix this shit. But it does have baby hairs in the back. I'm just stuck, stick that in there. I should actually clip in the clips to make it seal from like the sides because obviously it has a back clip only. But yeah, it does have baby ears in the back. But yeah, I like it. It's actually a really good company. They sent it. If you want, um, I actually got this wig customized. Like the lace, the, um, the lace I got it lightened. And I also got a... Uh, what else did I ask for? Oh yeah, medium-sized wig cap. 
Um, but yeah, you guys can like just talk. They're really, really easy to like talk to. I emailed them and I was like, hey, because um, they didn't have any reviews. So I was a little on it as well, iffy on it as well. So I told them, hey, um, do you think I can get my the the lace, like a light lace color? And they're like, yeah, they replied right away. I love that. Like, so shout out to that company. And yeah, so they were just like on point with their like their response. I loved how they were just really fast about it. But yeah, um, would I buy more wigs from them? I think I am going to buy more wigs from them. Like for now, I'm going to stick with this one. But this wig isn't all that thick. Let me just pull it all to the front. So you see my finger? So it's like this much. So it's not that thick. That's what's kind of eh. I didn't really like that because I thought it was 150 density. I'm going to be wearing this out today. So yeah, but I think I'm going to put like some purple shampoo on it and make it a little bit more less brassy. Right now it looks doesn't look too brassy, but I swear, like I swear to you, it does look a little bit yellow off camera. It's a little weird. And that kind of put a little bit concealer on it. I'm going to go ahead and fix that off camera. Hey everyone, so this is the wig. I actually did end up putting purple shampoo. Uh, just a heads up, don't get the fucking Target shampoo, which is this one right here. It sucks ass. It did not do anything to my wig. It, it I had to go to Sally's and get this one. This is my original, like, OG. I've been using this one when I had my blonde hair to make it, like, silver. And it worked on my wig as well. So yeah, I actually ended up uh customizing the whole like thingy right here as well like because you know how it was um all blonde it didn't have any roots to it and to make the roots i actually bought this from sally's beauty supply as well this is the cover that gray it has a little spoolie over here and a little lip gloss looking thingy over here um so yeah i would suggest getting this it was really nice to like just make those roots Made my hair, my wig look a lot more natural. But yeah, as you can see, the purple shampoo did work on the on taking out the brassiness. I actually went again and left it the purple shampoo a little bit longer. Not too long, because if you leave that purple shampoo in for too long, your hair's going to turn purple. Don't forget that. But yeah, um, I didn't leave it for too long, and it turned it into this white, blondish, gray mixture of a thing. So yeah, that is the final result for this wig. And I have to say, I fucking love it. When I was washing it, it did not shed that much. Um, like, probably, like, it shedded a little bit, like, five hairs or something like that. But didn't really shed. But, yeah, that is it, you guys. I love it so much. And, um, it took me so long to finish this video, actually. I was like, hmm, I don't really like how... Because I kind of noticed that my, my synthetic wig, like, was kind of slipping on this area right here. And the whole, like, coverage was, like, peeking out. And I was just like... Uh, like, should I upload this video? But I was like, you know what? What the heck? It's not the review for that wig. It's the review for this wig. So, yeah, that's that, you guys. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you didn't, then you know what to do. Give it a thumbs down. Give it a thumbs up. Comment any questions, concerns, compliments. I don't know. Just comment something down and let me know what you think. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, you know, I will be doing a 2017 wig review. So this wig will be coming up again later this month for sure because you guys have been requesting the 2017 wig review and like having an update on my old wigs that i bought this year so you guys that's gonna be coming up i promise you guys that pinky promise right here for you guys uh so yeah um yeah so i like this wig i will be uh putting the link down below for this wig it's beautiful. I love it. It honestly, like, just looks really, really perfect. Um, when it came in the package, it was straight, like you guys saw. But once I washed it, it came out wavy. So, will I be buying from this company? Like I said, hell yeah. I love their wigs. They're not that expensive, like, how I've seen in other web pages where it's like 300 bucks, 400, 500. It's fucking crazy out there. Like, oh my god, I did not know wigs cost that fucking much. I mean, I kind of did. But, you know, I wasn't really going to that. And I'm kind of... I'm not the type of person to spend that much money. Not yet, that much money on a wig. So yeah, I'm just sticking to the $200 wigs, $230, 200, like $200, $300. I don't know, maybe $400, I don't fucking know. But, um, but yeah, so that's it for today, you guys. And I love you guys so much. And stay positive. And I love you guys. Bye.